Perth's Lord Mayor Lisa Scafidi is in damage control this morning after the corruption watchdog ruled she engaged in serious misconduct by accepting gifts and travel perks. The Corruption and Crime Commission found Scafidi should have declared a trip to the Beijing Olympics and that she failed in her duties as Lord Mayor. While I accept I failed to address the disclosure regulations of the Local Government Act and for that I am truly and deeply apologetic. I believe I am the best person for the job and given what I have been through, I believe I will be stronger, wiser and even more prepared and my job is not yet done. The Triple C also found Lisa Scafidi failed to declare Lewin Estate concert tickets given to her by BHP in 2009 and accommodation provided by property management company Hawaiian Investments for the 2008 Broom Cup. Well, joining me now is journalist Chris Thompson. Good morning to you, Chris. Good morning, Tracy. You first broke this story back in 2008 when you started asking Lisa Scafidi about that trip to Beijing. Those questions didn't go down that well. No, that, that's, uh, that's a bit of an understatement, I think. Um, and I only found about, uh, out about the reaction uh, from the Triple C report uh, yesterday after a couple of phone calls from, from the media. And uh, well, it's been seven years, obviously, since that trip, and uh, the Triple, Triple C, as we've already mentioned, uh, found that Lisa Scafidi engaged in serious misconduct. Why do you think it's taken so long to investigate the matter? Look, the interesting thing was, uh, when, when I broke this one six years ago now, uh, there, there wasn't um, a lot of, lot of follow-up in the community. Uh, I don't know what the expectation is uh, for, um, for council officials, but it doesn't seem to be very high. This one uh, came to the public attention again after a federal inquiry in the US uh, into, the BA, into BHP's funding of the issue. Uh, and really it came, came to light uh, through the Triple C after that. Uh, so there, there was a significant delay. Mm. Do you think this finding will bring about any changes? Well, look, there, there's an election coming up in two weeks. Uh, this this uh, development certainly makes it interesting. The Triple C has uh, warned uh, other councillors against acting in such a manner bef uh, again. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if the local government minister looks at this in terms of more substantive reforms down the track. I'd say it's opened up a whole can of worms. Chris Thompson, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you.